Abstain from meat and save the world? Forget Batman. Today's superheroes are vegetarians. They're really doing something to help the environment, right? Whether classic vegetarian, vegan, or fruitarian, more and more people all over the world are giving up meat. Vegetarianism has even become a status symbol in many countries. But are they really making a difference? Let's look at the data. Livestock farming has a terrible carbon footprint. Look at the one billion cattle worldwide. Raising them produces vast clouds of greenhouse gases, twice as much as is emitted by planes globally. And the industry also uses an immense amount of water. Around 3,000 liters of H2O go into the production of a single beefsteak, enough to take a shower every day for three months. And raising animals for meat takes up a lot of space. If we all stopped eating it tomorrow, it would free up an estimated 30 million square kilometers. That's an area roughly the size of Africa. In all those ways, meat really is terrible for the environment, but it's also relative. For example, buying an avocado that's been shipped halfway around the world is worse for the environment than buying your steak from a local farmer, not least due to the transport involved. So it really makes the most sense to ask, where is my food coming from? Local free-range animals fed largely on grass help enrich the soil with their manure. And that's good for the environment. Some activists even claim that free-range cattle could actually help slow global warming. Water consumption in every area of agriculture depends largely on the farming methods being employed. In the arid regions of Chile, for example, where many avocados are produced, it takes around 320 liters of water to produce a single fruit. That's not exactly low-impact agriculture. In other words, to make a difference, you should eat things that are in season and that come from your region. So consume less meat, and when you do eat it, check its origins. Maybe it's time to come up with another category of environmental hero, the less meatitarian.